G'day and welcome to another edition of Hef's Beer Reviews. Today I am reviewing this beer here. It's Kaiju Crush. It's a tropical pale ale. Comes in this 375ml can. 4.7% ABV, 1.4 standard drinks. As you can see, it's certainly quite out there. Cracker open. Pour it into the... Beagle Hour IPA glass. Now it's been a while since I've had this one actually. I, I have had it before but it's, it's probably been two years since I've had one. Long time between drinks as they say. Nice golden colour. Uh, there's, a, there's a little bit of a haze to it. Finger of off white head aroma. Very tropical, very tropical, passion fruit, melon, mango, a real, a real tropical fruit salad, you might say. So, looks good, smells good, let's give it a taste. Cheers. Okay, light to medium body. Medium carbonation. It is nice and soft and light in the mouth. Um, makes me wonder if there's some wheat in this one. The flavour, the taste uh, follows the nose. It's very tropical. Certainly the passion fruit, the melon, the mango, that is evident in the flavour profile. There is a moderate amount of bitterness to this one. And you can also, you can also taste the malt uh, coming through as well. So it's a really well balanced beer with the hops, the malt um, and some bitterness there. So. Very, very drinkable, 4.7%, that's sessionable. Uh, certainly, a, I would imagine, a, a great summertime beer, this one. Very refreshing, very easy to drink. Uh, in terms of availability and price point, it is one of those craft beers that is very widely available at least in my part of the world your major liquor stores like your dan murphy's um, very easy to find five or six bucks a can which is not too bad for a craft beer in fact it's pretty good for a craft beer especially one of this quality kaiju is quite uh, an innovative brewery I know they've got a, a double IPA, a double red ale, all kinds of interesting beers. Uh, so worth checking out if you are in Victoria or worth checking out their range online if you're elsewhere. Um, I, I guess I kind of see it in the category along with Stone and Wood Pacific Ale, Baltrex PA, those kind of beers. Um, I think it's I think it's better than the bolter and I think it's probably better than the stone and wood too actually I, um, this one is when you're buying from those major stores you've got to be wary of the best before dates because they don't always store their beers correctly uh, this one was packaged back in March it's now early November at the time of filming so it's got a best before date of December so it is within that but only just um, and certainly you'd expect over that time frame that some of the hop characteristics have dissipated and it's not quite as good or as fresh as it could be I think it'd be an absolute treat if you could find it on tap but unfortunately up here in New South Wales I, I've never seen that score uh, look for a pale ale, for an Australian pale ale. I think it's pretty bloody good. I'm going to give it a four out of five. Four and a half, actually. Four and a half out of five for Kaiju Crush. 
Thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time on Hef's Beer Reviews.